hey hi everyone welcome back to the channel as you guys know i'm in ogoja cross river state and uh i'm with uncle Ima here you guys <laughs> say hello to my viewers <laughs> hello viewers how you are <laughs> we just entered igoli ogoja okay the entry from ijibo junction all right approaching uh, ogoja town all right so Uncle Lima and I today, uh, he will be taking me around to show me the city. Um, the reason I'm actually doing this one today is because when he was telling me yesterday when we came in in the evening and I really appreciated the history he was sharing with me. I said, I can't just hear this alone. I need to show you guys. So we'll be taking the drive around the city. He's going to show me some places and tell us the histories of this history of these places. And uh, you guys enjoy. In the first hospital in Northern Cross River State, owned by the missionary, the Catholic missionary, okay, known as Monaya Hospital, okay, the Catholic hospital. At the point in time, the government took over the hospital, but handed it over back to okay. the Catholic. Is this the hospital? This is the hospital. Okay, Monaya Hospital. All right, the very old hospital. I think it's over 50 years. Over 50 years. Over 50 years. Okay. Over 50 years. Yeah. All right. Over 50 years. It's one of the first hospitals in Northern Cross River State. Okay. Yeah. They have their school of nursing and midwifery here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nursing and midwifery school here. Yeah. Okay. That's the school of uh, nursing and midwifery. Nursing and midwifery. Okay. As you can see, there are staff quarters. Old and ancient building. <laughs> nurses' quarters, that's how they used to call it. What do they call it? Nurses' quarters. Nurses' quarters, uh, okay. And this is the building here. Okay. So, the next beautiful thing you will see is uh, Annunciation School. Okay. It's for Like a convent. Okay. Can you put down the glass a bit, sir? Okay. And also what? an old school too. Okay. Just for girls. Okay. Yeah, girls that want to be Reverend Sisters. Reverend Sisters. Uh -huh. School for them. How old is this uh, annunciation? Uh, uh, I know it's over 50 years too. That old school. Okay. I'll, ch I'll try to Google the history uh, and put uh, it so that people can. See uh, how old. Uh, let's see the signboard. They might okay. not have it on their signpost. Well, is it, this is a place? Yeah, this yeah. Is okay. the place. This is the school gate. I don't think they okay. don't have but I can find out. I can find out All right. how old the school has been. So that's the school. I like the greenery. The whole place is like that's an oil palm plantation. Yeah, okay. It's owned by uh, Chief I. I. Murphy. Chief I. I. Murphy. Chief I. I. Murphy was a member of the parliament. Okay. In, in, in 1966. 1966. Uh, in, the, in the 50s and 60s. All right. Grandpa, one of the oldest politicians from this side. Is he still alive or? He's, he's late. He's late. Okay. He's late now. Down there is Papa. The bridge we just passed is what they, the bridge they call the Monaya Bridge. Okay, that's, that's the old road. Oh, that's the old road there. Yes, uh, all right. There it used to be a military bridge. Okay. Made from uh, metals. Okay. So this chief IM office compound. This property of it. Okay. There's a son who is also a politician now that is in charge of it. All right. Obama office. This compound. Imagine all this owned by one man, all this piece of land extending down inside it oh. on both sides of the road. Oh, on this side and, and on the, the, on the left and right side. A very big politician. Wow. But they, have sold, they have sold most of the land. Okay. Uh, 
as we are going in front you see the the catholic church okay it was a uh, hundred years sometime last year wow it's an old church first missionaries that came to Abuja established that church why a hundred years now yes why hundred years Candidates to their own school, then this will be a teacher's training college. Okay. St. Thomas's teacher's training college. Okay. A prominent teacher's training college. No, no, no. A prominent teacher's training college. Or is no more in existence again. Okay. No more. I don't know what they do there. Okay, that's the, that's that's the, Catholic. That's the Catholic church. Yeah. Are you alright? This day. Teachers training college by your left. Teachers training college by. Okay, okay that's the left here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's the teachers training Thomas college. Saint Thomas. Saint Thomas's teachers, teachers training, training college. college. Four. Okay. And yeah, this is the church. Mm -hmm. This is the church. Goja Catholic Diocese is their secretary here. Yeah. Okay, Goja Catholic Diocese, yeah. this way. Yeah, that's the secretary. I'll go back to the Catholic Church. It's the oldest primary school in Ogoja. About 98 years now, he's still alive. Wow. About 98 or 99 years old now. This is his compound. Okay, this compound. I'm yeah. also a member of the parliament. This is Chief Adoga. That's his compound. Okay. Just part. This is uh, one of the oldest private owned nursery school. In, no, missionary owned nursery. It's not private. It's owned by the missionaries too. This one. Then before, yeah. Mata, it? Mata, no, it's a private too. Yeah. Mata Dede. It's owned by Re one Reverend Sister. Yeah, Mata okay. Dede Nursery School. Private owned school. Yes, I could say private. Yeah. Why are you This is the house of the first Chief Justice. Which one? Justice from this area. Late Justice Idagbo. This house here. This house you are seeing here. Okay. His son is a member of the parliament representing the Kwara of Gudu constituency. Okay. Yeah. This, yeah, this one is owned by Chief Mataya Sokobo Church. It's also late. All the first this, this hotel. doctors. Yes. Okay. Ipala. Here you have the Holy Child Secondary School, Mount Camel. It's a very old school. Holy Child Secondary School, Mount Camel. Mount Camel. I think it's over 50 years too. Alright. It's over 50 years. It's an old school. It's an old school, very old school. This is Ogoja town we have entered. Okay. Igoli Ogoja. That's how it's described. That's how it's called. I don't know where they derive the name from, but Ogoja as I is the old one the oldest province in Nigeria. Okay. That has not been made a state. Okay. It used to be Ogoja Abakleke province of those days. Abakleke is now, now a state. state. Yeah, yeah. Abakleke is the state. capital of Ogoja. Yeah. 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 But Ogoja is still yeah, it's what still it has on been. that cross river state, yeah. Wow. Old Ogoja. We are still on Mission Road. As this you is think. Mission Road okay. going around like this. Okay. Yeah. While this other side is Ipadan Street. I think okay. So. Okay. Uh, this is Mission Road going around. So we have now entered the Igoli Town. Okay. Proper. This is Mission Road is the most busy, the busiest road in uh, Ogoja. This road here. Yeah. 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 As you can see, the town is well planned. Okay. That's three parallel roads that okay. runs like this. Utolubeje, Mission Road and um, Calabar Street. Okay. They run parallel like this. Okay. On three them, of them. Yes, then. three of them. 
We have other streets crossing them like this. Okay. Because from one end to the other. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. For an old town like this yeah. to have been planned, but it's interesting. So we are driving in Igodi. Okay. This is where the old motor park used to be. Okay, where well, we just passed the motor park. Yeah, this okay. We didn't need to park of those days. This is still Mission Road. From the roof, you know that it's a very old town. Yeah, from the roof. Brown, dark brown roofs. They will look like they are really been slow somehow. Okay. I can see something like a water board in front. Yeah, that that's the water project. It's also, uh, that's the water board. Okay. Goja water board. The water board. How is the light situation in... The light situation is almost near zero. In this town? Yeah, it's almost near zero. Because I noticed yesterday when we came, we had to run generator almost Yes, there's morning. no light in the town. There's no light in Ogoja. This is a, a mini yam market. Okay, to our left. We just passed it. 80% yeah. of the business you see here, they are owned by the Igbos. All the people you see on the It's everywhere in, the, in Nigeria. <laughs> the Igbos own almost everything. <laughs> Which is interesting. So this is the water board. Okay. The Buddha water board. They have the Greater Ogoja Water Scheme, Cross River State Water, the World Bank project, but okay. that one is down that side. All right. Ogoja is metered with water. Oh, the water metered, is metered. But, uh, that project, I don't know what happened to it. It's not really. So, do they still have flowing water in the houses? Uh, or have to generate? Those things have collapsed. Oh collapsed. my God! It's like down here, you have the old stadium. Okay. Uh, that place is called Stadium Road. Okay. We're approaching Hospital Road. This roundabout now. Yeah. On. It's Hospital Road. Okay. This place you're seeing. This hospital road we've entered now. Okay. Behind this Zenith Bank, that's where the old hospital old, old, stadium. Uh, stadium. Yeah. But it's no more there anymore. Yes, they moved it to somewhere down in one place they call Okuku Road. But okay. they're still not in this building. Okay. So this is Mission Road. All this place some years back used to be residential quarters. Really? For government officials, but it has been commercialized now. Most everything here has almost gone up. These so, were all quarters, government quarters. So they've sold, is it that they sold the place? They sold it out, yeah, they sold it out. Oh, and it used to be a lovely place, all this lined with trees. Wow. Yeah, lovely place. That time the road was not this wide. Wide of the We are putting the only hospital we have in this side. General hospital, the only okay. government owned hospital. Is it? Where is it? We are approaching it okay. now. This blue fence okay. is the general hospital, Ogoja. There's no federal presence in terms of health in the whole of Northern Cross, Not Cross, Cross River State. State. Wow. There's no federal presence in terms of health. So this is the only state government owned general hospital. There's no teaching hospital, there's no specialist hospital. So, Any form of tertiary healthcare we don't have in the, the whole of nothing to do that. Ministry of Health. That's why when people yeah. die here, they say it's, they say it's, uh, witchcraft. They they are related everything to witchcraft. Wow. This way. When when no, one no, cannot no, get uh, yeah. any good health, and there's no good health facilities. So this is the divisional police headquarters. It's also an area headquarters. To our left. This one. Okay. Uh, this is the old police bar. It's the police barrack. I would say it's old. It's the police okay. Only police barrack we have. Look at how the buildings are. This is an old church. We look around church. The, oh. the Lutheran ministry maybe, came to Ogoja. Maybe we turn around or something. Okay. This is the Ogoja Magistrate Court. The Ogoja Magistrate Court. I'm going to show it from this side. Pushing Ogoja Diaru. Okay. The government reserve area in You know, like growing up in the north those days, you find a lot of. I, I know they also exist elsewhere in the country, 
you have those GRAs, but yeah. are they really existing nowadays? They are not really existing. Like, yeah, most of those places have been sold out. Individuals that, like this one, is individuals that bought most of them. Wow. Because I know that those days, you know, when you go to GRAs, that's when you always find the uh, well-to-do. The cream de la cream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.